In this video, I'm going to show you how to design parts in SketchUp so that you can send them into Faber and have them fabricated on your CNC. Uh, this is going to assume some basic SketchUp knowledge, um, and I'll show you how to make some simple parts here. Uh, so first, um, it's worth going to our site and going to help, um, and of course going through the Getting Started videos, which you are watching one of them right now. Make sure you check all these out. Um, but also, we have these sample models posted. And these are really good uh, models to look at because they uh, show what a well put together SketchUp model looks like. So I'm just going to pick this one here, uh, this bolt tray, and this actually has instructions on how to fabricate it. But um, specifically what I'm going to go after here is the SketchUp model. So I'm going to download this and open it in SketchUp. And you'll see here that this is a pretty standard SketchUp model. Um, and this uses components. And I'm going to explain components, uh, how to create them if you don't know in a moment here but if we click this box it is a component and if we go inside that component uh, critically each part of the box is its own separate component and a component in SketchUp is just something that uh, signifies that that part is indeed its own uh, separate part and that's really it um, everything else um, you know everything else you can just use these standard SketchUp tools to create something so let's create something uh, quickly here that is similar to this box and I'll show you how to uh, how to deal with components. So when you make something in SketchUp, we'll just make a side panel, something like this. So we're just gonna make a rectangle. I'm extruded up and I'm gonna adjust this and make it a little bit smaller, uh, something like this. And actually I'm just gonna make this uh, one inch thick. So we'll just make a little adjustment to it like that. Okay, so then we have a one inch thick panel here. Um, so when SketchUp makes something like this, like a panel or other part, um, it is a collection of lines and faces, and um, that's because SketchUp has its roots as an architectural modeler, and it means you can kind of do stuff like this. And critically, if you make another part that butts up to this part, it may look fine, but when you want to move it or delete it or do something else, you can have stuff like this happen. So what you want to do in SketchUp is when you make each part, just select it, right-click it, and say Make Component. And this dialog box is going to come up and you can name it you can give it a description you can set all these other options you really don't have to do any of this stuff the only thing you might want to do is just give it a name um, and you'll see where those pop up in Faber later but we'll just call this one side panel pretty simple and so when you create it uh, you'll see that nothing really dramatic happens but now when I click away from this uh, part and I click on it one single click highlights the whole thing and it's a, it's because that this panel is now in a protective force field of sorts or it is a distinct component okay uh, and you can check that it is a component by selecting it um, going to window and then going to entity info click this here and that will expand this little window and if you select the part you'll see it says solid component um, and those two words are key. It is a component, but it is also a solid. And so let me explain what a solid means. I'm just going to make another, another component here. So we'll make a box, right click this, make it a component, move this out of the way, and now it's a solid component. So what a solid means is that if you were to take the part and submerge it underwater, no water could leak inside. And so if we look at this here, you can see there's no holes in this box. So if I poked a hole in it like this. So there's there's an actual hole we can see inside. When I go back and I select this component, it only says component, it doesn't say solid. So Faber's not gonna recognize this as a makeable part. So to fix that, you can heal the edge, uh, or heal the hole in SketchUp. Whoops. You can kind of go like this, you know, and uh, patch it up. And you'll see now that it is a component. Even though there's this extra uh, line here, it is, it is a component, it is a solid, critically. Um, you can do something like this. This is acceptable. You know, put a depression in it like this. Um, and again, no water can leak inside the shape, so if we select this, uh, it will be a solid. Um, the only other thing that can throw you off uh, with creating a solid is if you have a stray line like this, a line poking up or maybe a line running past uh, like this, SketchUp will not calculate this as a solid. So you have to remove the stray edges and then it will recalculate it as a solid. So those are your, your two basic requirements. Um, you have to, Your parts have to be components and they have to be a solid. 
And this will happen, um, you know, don't stress about this. This will happen sort of um, automatically as you model. If you're using the standard SketchUp tools and, you know, creating other panels and parts, you know, let's just go ahead and create a part here. So let's say I make something like this. Um, you know, you can get pretty creative here. So let's add, you know, like an arced side panel, something like that. Maybe we're going to put a little jog in it. You know, this is going to be kind of a nonsensical part, but you'll get the idea here. So I can erase some edges. I can pull this one out an inch. I can add some pockets into it like that. Um, and then I can just, uh, you know, triple click or click drag to select it, right click it, make it a component. We'll call this one back panel and see solid component. No problem. So it's only when you get really crazy in SketchUp that you can run into these errors. So you can use those two, those two pieces of advice uh, that I just showed you here, kind of looking for the stray edges and looking for holes um, in components. There also is a free extension called Solid Inspector. It's this one here. So if you go to Window um, and you go to Extension Warehouse, you can search for Solid Inspector. This is a very popular SketchUp extension for this reason. Um, I like the newer version, version two. And when you get that, this is gonna help you diagnose um, you know, problems with your model. So let's say you had a stray edge on this component. And I select this one and it is no longer uh, a solid component. And the stray edge doesn't have to be as big as this one. It could be a little tiny one that maybe you don't see. Well, with this extension, Solid Inspector, it'll bring up, when you select it, it'll bring up this window and it'll say, hey, you've got a problem here you have one stray edge would you like to fix it and you click fix it will remove the stray edge and now your component has gone from just a component to a solid component so this is a really handy extension to have around um, to diagnose these things um, now that we have uh, this weird looking box thing set up we can just save our file and we can save this, we'll call this a test box, something exciting. And now to make it in Faber, we select this, hit the Faber button, and this window will come up. Faber will process the parts um, to assess their makeability. And here we have both of our parts. And you can just go ahead and proceed with your bit selection and go ahead and make your parts. So that is a crash course um, in how to design and make something in SketchUp and then make it in Faber. Um, and again, I encourage you to go on the website, uh, check out some of these sample models that we have here. They're right in the top uh, under my account, um, I'm sorry, under help um, and sample models and getting started. Check those out. And of course, uh, ask us if you have any questions or post in the forums and we're happy to help you. Uh, happy fabricating.